Hi VC, how you doing? Hope everybody's uh, doing well tonight. Um, if I could just take my iMac and turn it around, but I can't because it's too big. Beautiful sunset outside tonight. <clears throat> and um, it's going to be nice the next few days. So um, I'm in the mood for sun, so that's really good. But uh, I also like the rain, so. Um, but anyway, none of that has anything to do with what I'm here to show you which is a real quick uh, <clears throat> vinyl update. And it's gonna start with this guy right here, right behind me. And uh, I just stopped in real quick to pick up, uh, just to take a look at some stuff, just to walk around uh, at uh, Silver Platters and picked up this guy, this is Pink Floyd's Relics. And I've always seen this cover, <coughs> excuse me, I've always seen this cover, but I've never, um, in fact, I've got a CD with this cover on it. But I've never seen an actual item, and lately there's been some, uh, I think they're pretty much boots of this particular, with this particular color cover, and a colored vinyl disc inside. And they uh, had one at a local store. I walked in, and they had just taken it off the turntable, and they were telling me that they were pretty sure that it wasn't legit. <clears throat> it looks real cool, uh, but the cart work on it was really muddled, muddy, like it had been taken off of a couple of... Maybe, you know, it, it had been reproduced a few times. <clears throat> and, and more importantly, they said that the sound quality on the vinyl was like really bad MP3s were used to master the vinyl with. <laughs> so, um, anyway, you know, to have a, the cover and to have it on some interesting but not really very cool looking vinyl is a novelty, but uh, it was kind of nice to find <clears throat> what looks to, you know, what, what is an original version of this is an Australian version. <clears throat> I have a couple of them that have the line drawing, and one I think that's not colored pink at all, another one where the word pink is colored including the tail all the way back. I know there's there are like four or five variations of that, maybe even six. And apparently there are several label variations of this. Um, as I was trying to read while I was in the grocery, <laughs> grocery store, <laughs> record store, grocery store, it's all the same to me. Um, they combine the two would be perfect, wouldn't it? That'd be great. I think that'd be great. Uh, when I was sort of flipping through my iPhone trying to find out a little bit of information about this, uh, just to double check to make sure that this was, you know, a legit pressing of it. Um, and it, it, it is, uh, it's for, as far as I can tell. Uh, the artwork on it is really crisp and clean. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's on, well, on here on the front it says drum. It's kind of interesting. Pull that up. Has the original price tag on there as well, four dollars and ninety nine cents. But it's got drum uh, label, but it's not on the drum label. It's actually manufactured and distributed by EMI Australia Limited. And when you get the vinyl out, it's in a nice trans, nice plastic sleeve, it's mint shape. <clears throat> but you want to think Columbia right off the top because of the black and the, and the color blue, but it's uh, his master's voice there. EMI and his master's voice. And I, I found one website that listed all the variations of this um, on, in Aust on the Australian uh, release releases. There are two releases prior to this <clears throat> on... I can't remember what label it said. No, it's just up. It's not, it wasn't Harvest. It was another one. It might have been his, just his master's voice. And I saw a, a label that had a, like a tan label, but it had a big enlargement of uh, Nipper and, uh, you know, isn't that the name of the dog? Yeah, listening to his master's voice in the gramophone, only it was much larger. You can see the, the small box there that has that graphic on it. But this was much larger. <clears throat> and... Um, but they, they listed this one. They talked about it being the Black His Master's Voice label. And all the, all the numbers and everything were the same. The description of the writing on the label, where it started at, 10, at 11 o'clock and it started in the other direction at 10 o'clock, um, was all exactly the same. The only thing that was different is they listed one of the track listings, Biting My Time. Is it Biting My Time? <clears throat> yeah. Biting My Time. It specifically pointed out that it was spelled with two D's. And this one matches the description of that pressing 
exactly, only, I don't know if you can see it or not, but biting my time down there towards the bottom. Let's see just how well you can see that. I had no idea. But biting my time is spelled with 1D. It's been corrected. So, um, maybe this is a version that they didn't know about, that had been corrected on some of the labels, and it got out on this particular issue. Not sure. Here's the back of it if I didn't show the back. But anyway, it's a real beautiful pressing. Um, fairly certain it's it's the real deal. Seems to have had a number of issues on in Australia. If anybody knows a little bit more about the history of the uh, pressings of this particular album, love to know about it. Uh, but I'm you know, happy to have this to add to my relics collection. And uh, oh, I, I've also got the American with the mask. I think I've got one version of that. Um, I know there was like the original release on Harvest, which I have, and then another one that says a reissue on Capital. And I don't know if it's on the Harvest label or not, but I know it just says a reissue. So that was a nice pickup tonight. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention, like I said, this is actually going to be a quick, a quick uh, post. I'd like to thank uh, Dan down in Portland, Mr. Fury. I actually got these delivered on Saturday, but I didn't uh, pick. I didn't go get my uh, mail until Sunday. Uh, he had posted that he, um, I think on Facebook, that he had found this album. Um, and he said that uh, they had a couple of copies of it left. And I just quickly messaged and asked, you know, hey, do they have any of the others? Do they have any left? And do they have any others? He said that they had these two left. They didn't have any of the, um, I can't remember the name of the third one. But uh, I asked him, you know, hey, would you do me a favor and pick those up? I never saw them at any of the stores here. And I had a, have a couple of them from Record Store Day last year, or was it Black Friday from earlier? I'm not sure. But um, So I kind of wanted to get a couple of these with that were issued on Record Store Day with the numbers and everything. A nice low number on one of them. But uh, Dan also mentioned that even though it said uh, that they were limited to 3,000, that he found a couple that were in the upper... 3000s. So yeah, this is a 3991 right here. <laughs> so I don't know. I guess they pressed as many as they wanted to. So they probably pressed around 4000 and that was that. So again, Dan, thank you very, very much for picking those up. Um, you know, I PayPal'd him the, the dough and he got them in the mail as fast as could be. And like I said, uh, he said I'd expect them on Monday. Well, I, they were delivered on Saturday. So I still haven't put them on the turntable. I haven't listened to them yet. Uh, you know, I work 10 hour days, so when I get home, I just kind of want to sometimes just do nothing. And uh, this was this is one of those weeks. I think I just want to do nothing when I get home. I don't even want to open up and put on music. And so when I'm in the right mood, I'll be doing it. Plus, I think I think I believe it was Dan. Dan, if you're watching this, I believe it was you who told me about another website that uh, a record store that had a website back east, and they had the one that I was missing from the three that were released. So I've got that on order. It's going to be sent to me, so I'll have all three of them. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Fury of the Best. Really appreciate it. And um, hopefully you get to see you sometime soon, either if not down in Portland and um, up here in Seattle. So uh, fingers crossed. It'd be kind of fun to run around and do some record shopping with you. I'll have to save up my money. Anyway, that was it. It was short and sweet. Nothing uh, really new other than that. I'm trying to think, looking around. Oh, <clears throat> I didn't get this. I'll save this for another post. Yeah, I'll save that for another post. <laughs> Mystery box, but I know it's enough. Take care of EC. Talk to you guys later. Bye.